First of all, I want to say thank you to Philippe, to Alpine team that believe in me one more year to stay with them and fight for the World Championship again. Now, in a different category, from 1978, uh, we are back now in the, in the top of the level in the worst endurance. So I'm really happy, really focused. I'm excited to start this championship as soon as possible. We are here in Spain to testing and try a lot of things in the car. The car is new for us. So yeah, I am um, exciting. Um, should be a good challenge between us and Toyota as well. So let's uh, looking forward and to fight with them all this 2021 endurance. So now we are in the hypercar uh, starting. So a little bit different than before. In terms of the strategy, I think it should be a, almost the same, nothing special actually. It's just different approach. We have a lot of things to set in the car now. And it uh, should be a little bit challenger for everyone, especially from the teams to the engineers, for us drivers. But in the end, it's just um, a racing car, so you have to enjoy every moment in the car and try to fix all the problems before we arrive in Le Mans. That's the most important thing and make a good championship between us and Toyota and the other hyper cars that should be have in the championship as well. But uh, I know the team and uh, definitely should be a good opportunity to show everybody that also in a different car we can, we can match Toyota and who else should be on the hyper car as well. Our approach uh, for this new challenge and, uh, and to be in Ipaca compared with LMP2 will be the same management through a, a lot of humility for, for in first for sure because the challenge is a great challenge, a lot of motivation and determination and uh, a lot of ambition for sure because uh, when uh, we are in the king category is is to be ready for the fight. In terms of um, team management and uh, strategy, race strategy, uh, between LMP2 and uh, IPACA, the two differences are first the, the, the team scale, uh, because a lot of people are more involved and, and uh, more process and, uh, and uh, it will be one part of the challenge. And the other one it will be the, the management of the BOP because on the grid you, you will have some different chassis, different engine and it will be one of the key points uh, of this new challenge. Clearly the target is to win races this year, I mean this is why Alpine uh, came back uh, in the main category. 
and um, we know we have a lot of work ahead and we know we have to develop the car quite fast but our target is clearly to fight in the front. Yeah. The A470 and the A480, they are not so far in terms of conception, but in the end, there are a lot more details we can play with on the A480. And we have to develop our own tool like traction control and fuel usage and all these kind of details. The car is as well a bit more powerful and has a bit more downforce, so we need to, to develop this and to make sure we are ready for the first race in Portimao. My first motivation to join Alpine this season was to, to be in hypercar category uh, with this prestigious team as a senior tech Alpine and, uh, and to be alongside uh, André Negrao and Nicolas Lapierre. Alpine for me it's an iconic brand. They won Le Mans in 78 and multiple victory with senior tech since 2013 and uh, we want now in hypercar to win again in 2021.
Ok, comme ça. Ça, 20 ans de feu. Ok.